things you'll need all-purpose flour onion minced garlic black pepper salt onion powder garlic powder sazon adobo lard season creole seasoning complete seasoning red pepper flakes and bay leaf all right let's get started y'all so we're gonna start putting salt on our freshly washed stew beef tips then we're gonna go in with some black pepper and y'all we don't have exact measurements we're just eyeballing this ish eyeballing the ish now we're gonna use our onion powder go in with the garlic powder and y'all you just put what you feel is enough you know you just be like mm, when your hand be like that, that that's enough that's cool complete seasoning adobo seasoning these seasonings go very well together y'all some Lars seasoned salt I actually just created these seasonings all together and they go very well on this um, Creole seasoning It may seem like a lot, but for stew meat, it, oh, y'all gotta have the sazon. Put the sazon, oh my gosh, that's a master. But for this meat, it seems like you need quite a bit of seasoning to make it ha have that mmm, that mmm factor, that wow. So it's not really too much, y'all. And it's all about how much you put on it. And put your red pepper flakes, okay? Put the red pepper flakes. Mm, mm, mm. Don't put too much, y'all. You don't want it too hot. Then you're just gonna mix all of those ingredients, those spices, seasonings into the meat. Just mix it very well. Make sure it's coated on every piece of meat has a good piece good seasoning on the meat so just mix it very very well you guys and if you feel you need a little more of something go ahead and dash a little more of something on there no problem all your own preference look at that look at that All right, now we're gonna coat the meat in flour, all-purpose flour, and you're gonna put flour on it, coat it, cause that flour, what it's gonna do when you're cooking the meat, it's going to actually create its own gravy. So the flour creates the gravy for the beef tips. So mix the flour onto the meat mix it on there make sure you get on all the pieces and if you need more add more which i will be doing now need a little bit more on the meat if you feel you need more put more you think is enough leave it but um yeah it creates a it creates a gravy for it you guys a kind of thick gravy gravy so mix that all together Right, and now we're going to dice some onion, some onion pieces. Right, and now you're gonna get the butter, put it in the pan, put you some scoops of butter so you could get it, get the pan ready to saute your onions and your minced garlic. First, you're gonna saute your onion because you want to do the minced garlic a little later because the garlic seems to burn fairly fast. It burns kind of quick, you guys. So put the garlic in once the onion is pretty much sauteed pretty well. Then add that minced garlic. 
All right, so now we got that all sauteed up. Go ahead and take it out the pan, put it in a separate container, and we're going to put that to the side. Go ahead and add the meat into the pan. And what we're going to do is we're going to just brown the meat. We're not going to fully cook the meat, just brown the meat, but don't fully cook it. Right, go ahead and take the meat out of the pan, put that to the side. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to add some water to this pan. And we're going to add the sauteed onion and the minced garlic. Add that to the pan, kind of, you know, swoop it around, get the little pieces from the meat, all the little flavors from the pan from frying the meat stir that all in together in the mixture stir it on up all right add a little bit more water go ahead and give it another mix mix it on up And now what we're going to do is get your Laura seasoned salt. You're going to go in and season the mixture. That's going to be the gravy mixture. So we're going to season that. And then the meat that has the flour on it, we're going to go ahead and add that. And since the meat has that flour on it, it, it makes its own gravy, but it's going to make with the water is going to make it thicker it's going to make a thick consistency to it go ahead and add some more water because as it simmers down it's going to make the water dissolve oh we need that bay leaf y'all go ahead and add that one bay leaf in there add a bay leaf so you can have that mm, that good flavor that bay leaf give that mm, 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 mm. Right, mix everything, give it a good little mix, you guys. And we're gonna go ahead and cover this and we're gonna turn the heat down low, put it on, and we're gonna simmer it. We're gonna simmer it for an hour and a half so that meat could get nice and tender. And y'all, my lid for this is too small, so I take it off later on. So, okay. All right, y'all, now it's time to get started on these mustard greens. So you need your mustard, mustard greens, sugar, salt, onion, bacon, garlic powder, onion powder. Let's go ahead and make this quick greens. So go ahead and get you some water boiling, two cups of water per pack. It's going to be frozen mustard greens. So go by the pack of the, the back of the instructions which says two cups of water bring it to a boil once you bring it to a boil you're going to add your mustard greens right so we're adding those mustard greens into that boiling water right now we're going to go ahead and Break it apart because it's kind of froze. Then we're going to start adding our seasonings. So we're going to start by putting our onions in. Put all your minced um, onion. Put your onion in there. Go ahead and add some salt. We're eyeballing this, y'all. We eyeballing it. Right, and add you some onion powder. Add you some garlic powder. Add you some sugar, y'all. Put some sugar up in them greens, okay? Y'all heard my. Put that sugar up in there. Mm-hmm. And 
And last but not least, you're going to add you some bacon up in there, okay? Going to add you some bacon pieces, y'all. This is not the traditional type of bacon you will put in here, but this is the quick, easy way, okay? This is the crispy way. And let me tell you, it's good. So go ahead and mix everything together. Get it all mixed up in there. And once you get it all mixed up in there, what you're going to do is you're going to simmer it for 25 minutes, y'all. And there we go. It's been 25 minutes and greens, well, close to 25 minutes and greens is almost ready. Let's check on them beef tips. It's been simmering over there again, all nice and yummy. Give that a little swirl. Ooh -wee. We getting this meal together, y'all. We getting it together. Ooh, look at them beef tips. Just nice and creamy. Look at that consistency. Oh, y'all. Y'all gotta try this. Mm, it turns out so good. And there you go. Go ahead and make you a serving of this beef tips over some mashed potatoes. You can put it over rice too, but I wanted to put it over mashed potatoes. And look at the ending results, y'all. Now, don't that look delicious? Mm, mm, mm. Now, tell me that's not some comfort food. Very comforting. Look at that gravy. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all season it very well. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let's not forget about the greens, y'all. We forgot the greens. Look at them onions and the bacon pieces. Y'all, mm, if this ain't no good Sunday dinner. Woo. All right, y'all. Well, we are coming to the end, so thank you all for watching. Make sure you try this recipe.